In the pathogenesis of certain hematologic malignancies, such as cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, or CTCL, malignant T-cells migrate from the blood to the skin, and later, sometimes, to lymph nodes and or viscera. Aberrant migration to the skin is guided by ligands such as thymus and activation-regulated chemokine, or TARC, and macrophage-derived chemokine, or MDC, which are secreted within the lesion. This migration is driven by CC chemokine receptor type 4, or CCR4, which is highly expressed by malignant T-cells. CCR4 also may be expressed on some regulatory T-cells, or Tregs. Targeting CCR4 with potoligio mogamulizumab KPKC, a first-in-class monoclonal antibody, mediates antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, or ADCC, selectively killing CCR4-positive malignant T-cells. Potoligio has little impact on other cell types that express CCR4, such as platelets. Potoligio is engineered with proprietary potelligent technology that removes fucose from the antibody's FC receptor region to increase binding affinity to immune effector cells. This can increase ADCC activity up to 100-fold compared with conventionally prepared antibodies. Because CCR4 can be expressed at multiple stages of CTCL and in skin and blood compartments, ADCC of CCR4-positive T-cells offers a promising targeted approach for disease control. Indication Potoligio mogamulizumab KPKC injection for intravenous infusion is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with relapsed or refractory mycosis fungoides, MF, or Cesare syndrome, SS, after at least one prior systemic therapy. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Dermatologic toxicity. Monitor patients for rash throughout the course of treatment. For patients who experienced dermatologic toxicity in trial one, the median time to onset was 15 weeks with 25% of cases occurring after 31 weeks. Interrupt potoligio for moderate or severe rash, grades two or three. Permanently discontinue potoligio for life-threatening grade four rash or for any Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, or toxic epidermal necrolysis, 10. Infusion reactions. Most infusion reactions occur during or shortly after the first infusion. Infusion reactions can also occur with subsequent infusions. Monitor patients closely for signs and symptoms of infusion reactions and interrupt the infusion for any grade reaction and treat promptly. Permanently discontinue potoligio for any life-threatening grade four infusion reaction. Infections. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of infection and treat promptly. Autoimmune complications. Interrupt or permanently discontinue potoligio as appropriate for suspected immune-mediated adverse reactions. Consider the benefit-risk of potoligio in patients with a history of autoimmune disease. Complications of allogeneic HSCT after potoligio. Increased risk of transplant complications have been reported in patients who received allogeneic HSCT after potoligio. Follow patients closely for early evidence of transplant-related complications. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions reported in greater than or equal to 10% of patients with potoligio in the clinical trial were rash, including drug eruption, 35%, infusion reaction, 33%, Fatigue, 31%, diarrhea, 28%, drug eruption, 24%, upper respiratory tract infection, 22%, musculoskeletal pain, 22%, skin infection, 19%, pyrexia, 17%, edema, 16%, nausea, 16%, headache, 14%, thrombocytopenia, 14%, constipation, 13%, anemia, 12%, mucositis 12%, cough 11%, and hypertension 10%. You are encouraged to report suspected adverse reactions to Kiowa Kieran Incorporated at 1-844-768-3544 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or fda.gov slash medwatch. To learn more about Potoligio, visit potoligiohcp.com. <laughs>